Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes, and I'm in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection version 15, and I'm going to show you how to create a cool wedding intro using one of the backgrounds from our Digital Hotcakes Wedding Essentials Volume Number 2 HD. And the background we're going to be using is the Bride and Groom background number one, and I've already navigated to it. It's on my hard drive. Um, it's very important whenever you're using any of our digital hotcakes that you copy them off of the DVD onto your hard drive first before bringing them into Pinnacle Studio. So let's start by dropping this in the video track. Okay, so let's go ahead and open our video toolbox. And we want to shorten the length of this clip. We're only going to use the first 17 seconds. So let's just go ahead and type 17 in here for its ending time. And now we can start creating our titles. So let's select our Create or Edit a Title button. And go ahead and slide your scrubber bar back to the beginning of this video clip. Now the type of title we want to create is a motion title overlay. So let's select that. And the first thing that we're going to do is change the font up here. Of course, you can choose any font that you want to use. I am going to use the Palantino Linotype. And I'm going to set my size at 36. And also, I want the duration of the titles to be the same as our video clip. So I'm going to make this 17 as well. So let's go ahead and type our first title, which is going to be the date of the wedding. And go ahead and move this into the center of the heart, right about there. Now I want to change its color. So up here under settings, go here under fill, there's, a, there's an eyedropper next to the fill color. Go ahead and grab that. And drop it in this dark blue color here. That'll give that title a nice complementary color. And also we need to set up the timing for the title when it's supposed to appear and when it's supposed to disappear. So let's go to its, its layer here and just drag the beginning time to one second. That's when we want it to come in. We want it to go out at five seconds. So let's drag the ending to the five second mark. And also we want this to fade in and fade out. So let's go under our motions button up here. And under enter, we're going to use this page fade. We want to drag the page fade down there into the into the timeline. And also for the exit, we want a page fade as well. Okay, and we want these page fades just to be a second long. So you can grab those two and just drag them back till they're a second long. Okay, and now we can create our next title. Let's select our Add Text button. And we're going to type in the name of our bride and groom. Okay, and now this title is going to come in at 6 seconds. So let's grab it and move it to 6 seconds. And we want to move our scrubber bar too so we can see where the animation is at 6 seconds. That way we can make sure that the title is centered the way we want it to be. I'm just going to move it up just a little bit. And now this title is going to disappear at 12 and a half seconds. So drag its ending to 12 and a half. And we're going to go ahead and apply those page fades to this title as well. The exit for the exit. And for the entry. And we, again, we want them to be one second long, so just grab the little timeline here and pull it back to one second. All right, and we have one more title, so let's go ahead and, and click on our Add Text button again. And this title is simply going to be Wedding Day. And this title is coming in at 13 seconds. So let's grab it and drag it to 13 seconds. And let's bring our scrubber bar so we can see where the animation is at 13 seconds. Okay, it looks like we might need to move that up just a little bit. Okay, and we're going to put that page fade on just the beginning of this title. So under Enter, just drag that page fade. 
and again drag it so it's just one second long. Okay, now we're done with our titles, so we can click OK. I'm going to close our video toolbox, and the next thing we need to add is our audio clip. So you can click our Show Music button, and this is where you'll navigate to wherever you've saved your audio clip. Now I'm using a trumpet voluntary. It's something we got off the Fresh Music Authentic Classical CD from SmartSound.com. And I'm going to drag it down here into my music track. And double click on it to open up the, our editing panel for our audio. Now for this, we need this, this audio to end at 16. 26. I know that because I built this tutorial. So just type in 1626 there. You can exit out of that that editing panel and now we can watch what we've done because we're finished. Let's, let's slide our scrubber bar back to the beginning and let's watch what we've created.